Hello everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. It is December 23rd and I'm in beautiful St. George, Utah, shooting the 2021 PCSL Championship. It's a little different than three gun, of course, because you only have two guns, but man, we're at an awesome venue. It's a lot of fun. I already got three stages down shooting with Team Cobalt out here. Got great representation and it is a great place to shoot. So we're gonna be out here for three days. I'm out here with Bryson and Aaron and the whole crew with Cobalt. So we'll come back at you from one of the stages. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm out here and look who I run into. You guys know this cat right here. This is Kenneth I with Eagle Eye Precision. This is your first time ever doing a two-gun event. This is my first time, yes. And it is extremely fun. And I'm kind of playing it safe, trying to make my hits, but I'm learning a lot. The X-ray is about to go down. What do you think, Kenny? Oh. Right. Oh. Am I here? You're here. Maybe I'm not. ready. Stand by. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. All right, so we just finished up day one over at the 2021 PCSL Championship sponsored by Cobalt Kinetics. And I've got Kenny here with me, and what we wanted to do was talk over uh, talk about some of the equipment uh, that we were shooting today. So, Kenny, this is your first ever two-gun match. Yep. We shot six stages today. What are your thoughts? It's extremely fun, fast-paced, and a huge learning experience from what I'm gathering. So, what were some of the biggest takeaways from shooting you know, base stages, because you're a big long range guy. Right. And we didn't really shoot past about 150 yards. Yeah. What did you think? Well, these rifles were set uh, at a 200 yard zero. Okay. Um, so, I mean, for what I what I had to do was pretty much hold just dead center plate on majority of the plates here, except yeah. for the close up targets, like the paper and steel at 10 to five yards, I had to pretty much hold high in order to get the K zone. So that's what I pretty much learned and kind of just paid attention to where your impacts are at on paper is easily uh, it's easy to get a charlie mic or uh, just a miss on uh, just not paying attention on your impacts all right what kind of uh rifle were you running that's an sbr yeah this which is, is allowed yeah this is an sbr it is a psa uh upper um nothing special besides i do have an Avesky barrel on this and a superlative arms gas block however uh talking about battle rifles in your live chat this was a failure so if you guys could zoom in I do have a loose gas block and I've actually lost a screw, a set screw. And these are actually Loctited on. I actually used 231 Loctite and I put it on there at 35 inch pounds or 45 inch pounds and it still, it still came loose on me, so. Yeah, so guys, you know, I do harp on that quite a bit. I mean, you really don't know what your equipment can do unless you put it to the test yep. and you're starting to see that. I know you right. shoot a lot in the desert. Yep. Now, as far as your pistol, what did you learn about pistol today? I, I know you learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, so it's a humbling experience. Uh, Hollow Sun is what I'm running. Um, one thing that I've been doing is having the, uh, the two MOA circle. I noticed that for me personally, I prefer just having the red dot. I could give a, a more of a, I guess, a, a target acquisition that way. 
Um, my thing is that it has an auto dim feature. So the auto dim feature has been pretty much a downfall for a lot of my stages. It will go low or I can't see it at all and I'm pretty much going blind on the stage. It happened to me on two stages. So what I've been doing now is on the stage prep is making sure my sights are on and I'm ready to go that way. Nice. All right. So you had a chance to shoot one of the Cobalt Bamps yes. today. Let me hold the other one. Yeah. Um, what did you think about that? Well, I shot your rifle and I shot this. This one does have the hyper fire trigger. That one has a uh, trigger tech, same as mine. Uh, these things just running flawless out here. So I, I am really impressed with how built these rifles are, how well built they are, how uh, tight finished they are, and just honestly, super accurate. All right, so what I'll do is I'm gonna do a rundown of the rifle itself. So guys, this is the Cobalt Kinetics. This is the BAMF, the Billet Aluminum Modular Firearm. This one has a 13.7 inch barrel. It does have their own proprietary gas block system that they have made. And then right here, this is the RCB2. It is the reduced concussion brake. Excuse me, this is a three model. And what you can do is if you want to be able to get a little more uh, control, you can actually drill these holes out, make them a little larger. This has the scaler works on it with the Aimpoint T2. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Aimpoint. Um, it does have the Radian charging handle, ambidextra safety. This one has the Trigger Tech Diamond two-stage. And guys, this thing has performed flawlessly today in the dirt, dust, and uh, here, here's a slow-mo of what kind of dust we're talking about. And then the bolt carrier group is uh, DLC bolt. Uh, they actually make these as well, and they're coated. I'm gonna let you hold this. And then as far as the pistol, the setup I'm running for two gun, you don't need to have shot shell caddies because this isn't three guns so you can run like a battle belt so pretty much all day i had two 30 round mags and then two pistol mags but then i had the starter ones that i carry in my back pocket to actually start with as far as the pistol and the setup here i do like to run positive retention this is by weber tactical we had to do a little bit of modifying to make this work but we are shooting this on an atlas and I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but this is the Atlas Gunworks, and this is a super pistol. It has the SRO on it, and it's the Athena model, mm -hmm. and it runs great. Um, it does have the iron sights so that if your dot goes down, right. we can still see our, our intended target and be able to get impacts. Well, Bryson, I finally get to meet you, a lot taller in person, and you're <laughs> finally back out here enjoying what you love to do. So Yeah, absolutely, and I'm really glad to meet you as well. Yeah. Um, glad to be out at the match. Guys, one of the big things, um, you kind of hadn't seen me for a while, I got involved in a really bad motorcycle crash. I ended up breaking both my legs, had to have some uh, major surgery, spent about a month and a half in the hospital, and changed my life for sure. But I'm back out at the match, working hard, pushing further than ever before, and shooting, in my opinion, Darn near where I was before. Yeah. Um, just just pushing towards getting better. Um, rocking the 13.7 inch Cobalt Kinetics, the yeah. same as uh, the X ring back there, and uh, it's an absolute beast of a rifle. A um, little bit different setup. Mine has the Hyperfire Eclipse in it, but everything else is pretty much the same. Um, it's a beast of a rifle. I've ran these things for years, and uh, couldn't recommend them more to y'all. All right. So the muzzle brake, what do you like? I said a lot of folks are asking about the muzzle brake. I know um, Joe did a couple of videos on this. Uh, what do you think about how it mitigates recoil? So, so the muzzle device is extremely effective. Um, I've had great results with it, even compared to the pro brake that I used to run. Um, right. Honestly, I think this thing is comparable, and it's not technically a compensator either. Yeah. yeah. Um, so in the division we're shooting, it is legal to run. Um, and honestly, I'd run this on pretty much any battle rifle that uh, you could. Gotcha. So I had a lot of questions. Also, uh, people always ask me, how do you hold your battle rifle? Like when you're engaging targets, far range close range how, what are your what's your preferred hold method so i've got a long length of pull personally being a little bit taller right, like we me. talked about yeah. but for me reaching out further on the rifle and getting nice and far down on the gun gotcha. um, seems to work out pretty well for me awesome all right well guys uh we're gonna wrap it up here we'll see you guys on day two so guys that's gonna wrap up day one we're gonna head out to dinner but man these things right here shoot very very well guys thanks for joining in we'll see you soon give me a nod when you're ready ready stand by
How we start? What's the start position on the? Yeah, uh, just right. pointed at the rock. Okay. Are you ready? We're ready. Stand by. It's the same shit I did. <laughs> <laughs> 